What's going on guys, Nameless here, and I've just been watching a ton of Call of Duty recently, a ton of old games, a ton of old matches, and just getting that, you know, that feel of that epicness and intense feeling you get when you're just watching a close game on land, and I wanted to share that with you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and rank the top five most intense maps where there was just a ton on the line where people were playing with their heart and you could just feel the energy that was happening you know whether you're watching the stream whether you're at the event or whether you were a pro player you know wanting your friend to win and stuff like that and i wanted to show you guys in my opinion the top five most intense matches or maps in cod esports history now i'm not going to show the full games i'm just going to show you some of the best plays and i'll link them all in the description so i hope you guys enjoy Coming in at number five, I have Envious versus Epsilon Esports. You know, a little bit biased here, but this was one of the most intense maps in Call of Duty history. Um, I particularly took place in this map, so I know how intense it was. I know how electric the crowd was, and it was just so crazy. Um, you know, 2-2 last map, elimination at the biggest tournament of the year. Um, we all, you know, were excited. We played so many months for this moment. This is just one of the most intense maps in COD history. I'm going to show you guys some clips of it. Flux just got the kill on Merc. Now it's gonna be Nameless one versus three. Oh, That's two kills. Nameless. One versus one and twenty. Nameless just has just seen him. Can he get the kill? Pulls out the assault rifle. Nameless is gonna oh. get it. Yes. Team MP has got the one v three. And they are oh. gonna stay alive. Nameless, the man, the what? myth, the legend. That oh. is those plays. Oh my God. Oh wow. He just hit him up right there. Look, he's not even stoked. I would be screaming right I now. I would be after just that. jumping. That up was and huge, down. huge. This is Rambo. Both these guys have been playing since Call of Duty 4. They are veterans in the space, and it's going to come down to this. If Rambo can close this for his squad on defense, moving him in the top eight and the money, or a Swanee, a veteran in his own right from Europe, going to try to push this into an overtime. The intensity has never been more real for both of these squads. 40, well, 35 seconds remaining now. Time ticking away. It's Rambo who needs to make the play. He hasn't got the bomb. Swanee knows exactly where it is. He can just camp it. That's all he needs to do. Time is going to tick away. You can see on that mini-map on the top left of your screen, Rambo making his way, highlighted in yellow. Swanee just playing the time game. Is Rambo going to check the room? They're next to each other. They are quite literally next to each other. Swanee EV peaks will get that kill. He isn't to know. 10 seconds left. Is Rambo even going to have time to plant for his? I don't think he is. He's trying to find the kill. All Swanee needs to do is stay alive, and he will have this round. And we're going to go to a round 11. This is unreal for his. Five points for Epsilon, five for Envy. And it's going to be Epsilon that's on the offense here. As Envy's going to oh. get the defense, Flux goes down. That's a huge nade, guys. Every single kill here, let alone you take out the top player right now for the squad in Flux. 4v3 situation. This is going to be huge for Epsilon. They're going to try to counter back and take one out of Envy's roster here. Hopefully it's nameless to help out the situation. And this time, Epsilon haven't been able to get that bomb down fast enough. It's Right now, Jud with the bomb. Are they going to try the rotation? I think they are. The last 53 seconds, the three Epsilon players trying to stay together. They're trying to bait out Envy into thinking the plant's going down with the smoke. There's one Envious player who's peaked. Jud needs to get the kill. He doesn't. Oh, Nameless. Wow. He's going to get another kill. Surely no. Oh. Tommy picks that up. Two versus three. Swanee and Tommy alive for Epsilon. Can they keep Epsilon's hopes and dreams alive here at the Call of Duty World Championship? Oh, I can only imagine the heart rate of both of these teams right now as this is it coming down the line in 26 seconds. Oh, Tommy. Out. Tommy comes up, picks up one, sees another. Can he do it? Is that player going to retreat to top right here? Tommy going to try to retreat himself. That's going to be something that picks up the count. Well. Merck closes it out. And Envious in the money now as they're going to be in the top eight. And Benson's buying me a steak dinner. God damn it. <laughs> oh, but it couldn't have been closer. Oh, to the Coming in here at number four, I had to go with MLG X Games 2014, Team Caliber versus Optic Gaming, one of the most intense maps of the year and in COD history. Uh, it was just a crazy game, Sovereign Search and Destroy, all on the line, gold medal, one of the most viewed events of all time to this date. And it was just so much on the line and you could just see how much you know heart the players were playing with and it was just crazy to watch. Two kills, go down, Scuff and Proofy pick up Sharp and Gunjar and Ezlo all alone in a 2v1. And Proofy's gonna find him on the stairs. First round going to optic Gunchar is in a tough situation here in a 3v1 he's got no time and Skump's gonna pick up the kill optics up 2-0 so team caliber gonna be back on the defense here. Uh -oh. by proving it taken out two piece by Neslo with that bulldog nice shooting as he was able to take out both Proofy and Scump 
Nate Shot's gonna finally take Nezel out of the map, and it's a 2v2. Gujar follows up with a shot on Nate Shot, and now it's a 1v1 here. Shot's coming in, oh! Clay's gonna get picked by Ab. Three straight deaths. That's a, that's a tough one right there. They had a great setup. Team Caliber did. However, Gujar's in it still. And the diffuse was missing yeah, he could get, Oh, no. I thought for a second Goom might be able to do something there. He got hit markers on that shot, but he got headshot. It got taken out there. <laughs> one, Nezla, last man standing after the knife from Proof. And he walked right by him, and then a knee slide in. Nate shot gets the round ending kill cam, and he did it with some style points, to be honest with you. Here oh, is Nate shot one more time. New addition in Ghost. I'll use it. No Converging together. Check the ladder. Oh, see somebody mid -knife. misses his knife, but makes the kill as he takes out Neslo. They've got one more. And you got to wonder if Nate shot's just going to go for the defuse and Scump covers him. It looks like that's what they're going to do. Goon! Shots being fired. That's going to take out the bomb defuser. Great play by Goonjar. The only way Scump's going to have to do is push this one. And nice, nice play job. out of Goon. Goonjar making it look easy as he's keeping Team Caliber alive here. Four to two. This is getting intense for his Goonjar clutching it for his squad. They needed him to step up. And oh. Neslo pushing. Scumpy. And he's going to get the kill on Nate. Scumpy, will he spot him? Patience. There it is. Oh, he got it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That was massive. That was massive by Neslo. What a beastly play. Oh, that was so, so beastly. I got chills, Quiz. Oh, yeah. What a play from Nezlo to keep Team Caliber alive. Oh, my goodness. Oh, let me see it again. Oh. The kill. Gujar's got to find Clayster. Clayster's going to look. And he gets the kill. And Optic Gaming wins it. Optic Gaming, your X Games gold medal champion. What a performance here from Optic. They will take the first ever MLG X Games gold. Wow, a what a search moment. game. That was the best search game I've seen in such a long time. Team Caliber, an amazing play by them. They played tremendous. You guys have to give it up for Team Caliber, too. Who oh. just All right, so coming in here at number three, I had to go with the 05 comeback by Complexity at MLG Full Sail 2013. It was just a crazy comeback. Black Ops 2, some good search and destroy. And Optic were actually predicted to lose this, and they went up 5-0. I mean, they did lose, but nobody expected them to do this good. They went up 5-0 and ended up losing 6-5 with some of the craziest plays I've ever seen. And experience the pain from Crim's point of view. Well, he could find Optic flank shot over here, and if he picks up that kill, this will stop for shorter streaks as they meet up here. It's gonna be Nate Shot coming down on the top. He's doing some serious work with that Scorpion as Optic Gaming go up five to zero. What a turn of events, Revan. I thought we would have been in bed by now. I thought Complexity, they would have walked home with the trophy and the check, but no. Optic coming alive, down three games. They destroy. battle back, win game number four. Now one round away from shutting out complexity and searching is number two for Optic if they can finish oh. the round. Krim gets one though, staying alive. 49 seconds left on the clock. The fans having to sit back down in their seat for a moment. Yet yeah, Jcap and Nate Shot left alive for Optic game. Then they're just gonna play this one together. The bomb has been dropped over near the middle ticket booth, so Crim6 has a ways to go before he makes his way for a round one. But you see the Optic guys clock about to they're right next to each other. So patient is Crim6, but he is gonna be called out. Catches oh. Nate Shot in. Oh, in transition. One more player. Can Crim get the one on three? Oh, he's fighting him out. Oh, Crim 6! Crim 6 with the one on three clutch. Complexity staying alive here. And we're here to back himself up. Jcap will finish off the kill. And now it's all up to Aix, the captain of Complexity. We saw Crim get the one on three. Aix now needs a one on two. First off, great decision from Optic right there. As soon as they had Crim 6 zoned out, they forced the 2v1. But Aix saw the fight rotation harder. from Optic going to the A bomb site. One's going for the bomb site. Good fight, Jcap here on the bridge. Nice. Shots, take down, come. Fight Jcap on the bridge. Aix trying to pick up a kill for the 1v2. Trying to keep complexity alive here on Express Search and Stray. We'll try to run away, fight from position over near the hedge. Here comes Jcap from the train, though. Jcap versus Aix, and all the pressure's on Jcap here. Aix playing it perfectly. Don't engage. Make him go for the plant. Now Aix knows he needs to go. Is he too late in transition to catch the carrier? Jcap, uh -oh, did he get him. away? 
The Ninja J Cap here is gonna come down to one final fight. Oh, Ace finds a picks up the kill. Ace with the one v two clutch. Yeah, they were up by five rounds. Crimson takes oh Ace. Oh my there God! You go. Complexity, come back down five rounds, and they are your MLG Fall Invitational champions. Crim Six running across the stage, running to congratulate the office team. Complexity, what did we just witness? Coming in here at number two, I'm gonna have to go with the Optic Gaming versus FaZe Advanced Warfare first event, MLG Columbus Open. Just the amount of pressure that was on these players, you know, Optic formed this team, they're supposed to be the God Squad, you know, they're supposed to win all these matches or all these tournaments, and uh, they're playing FaZe in the final who had just won the first best of five. And um, it was the second best of five, and FaZe was turning up to a whole new level. You know, Eggs wanted to beat Crim6, and this search and destroy was just intense. Uh, there was a lot of crazy clutches, and Doug got a crazy kill and ended up winning in this game. So this was this one definitely goes down in history. This slow and steady as they inch closer to A. Yeah, they are very slow, but Nature is actually going to go move. down. And this is going to be a pounce. Former picks up the bomber instantly. He actually just saw someone needs to give his teammates some support. That should be at least one kill. But Nature has gone down. Now Scumpy, one of three. Not going to be able to pick up two yet. He killed one, but immediately went down. FaZe picked up that round. Two rounds to one overall in this such an issue. A push. He's going to be spotted. Slasher does take out Nade, though. Early advantage going to FaZe. Nice Ball job. Crim6. Both picking up some kills there. So Aix and Apathy now left in a two versus four. Aix. Make it a 2 2. It's going to go down. Apathy. Last to try and keep him down. Oh, he's done it as well. He's going to dip out. Is he going to stay alive? No, he's not. Optic Gaming pick up the Blank. control. There's he's going to find the second as There's well. Two. No, he no goes kill. down. Optic Gaming. 3 2 in the lead now, Pocket. And how big could that attacking round be? One versus four for Scumpy. He has so many things to worry about. He's basically pinned, nowhere to go. And that is how you reply. Just taking his time. And you can see that both players on his screen, thanks to COD Vision. And 35 seconds left. Time is ticking away. Nate Shot desperately now needs to try and make a play. Is he going to check the corner? That's the question. It's going to be one to his right. Not going to happen. And FaZe go back into the lead. Four rounds to three. Slasher. Now it's just down to Scump. 30 seconds left. It's a one on three. And the importance of this round cannot be stressed enough. Scump be tagged up, gets the melee attack, stays alive somehow. 20 seconds left. Being very, very quick and frantic about his actions, but he has to be player in the corner. Scumpy wow. one on one with Sensor. Can he do it? 15 seconds left. Desperately needs to try and hunt him down. He's looking everywhere. 11 seconds. Sensor. Sensor trying to get the oh, 1v1 clutch. And it. Sensor is going to stay alive long enough. Scump gets all full. That's a huge kill on Crim6. Time is ticking away. And Sensor is just completely baiting out Optic Gaming here. The crowd chanting Doug. Shots going down, no one dying. Sensor backing up to some support. That was a huge play, but Slasher has gone down. That's Nature with the kill. Three versus three. Time is ticking. Oh, Sensor! He just got a kill up. Oh, okay, by a second! Sensor! Unbelievable play! Valley's Nature, one on three. He's going to get the kill, though. 29 seconds left. Bomb down. Can he stay alive? Major up now! Faze win the championship! Sensor, an unbelievable play. What a comeback. FaZe had to do it twice. Two best of fives. It goes the distance all the way to game number five here in the championship match. And FaZe... All right, and number one, which you guys probably all can predict, is Impact versus Envious at the COD Champs Black Ops 2 2013 Finals. This was the craziest match in the history of Call of Duty. Sitting in the crowd watching this, I was so hyped up. I felt like I was in the game. This will go down as the best match ever in COD history. Just some of the craziest stuff you've ever seen happen. This last map, Meltdown Search, was intense. Envy shots fired back and forth. Two players down now as we switch over to Farico. Karma's got the sniper rifle looking for a player here. They are on the defensive side of things. Parasite trying to go to A. Let's switch over to him as he knows they must be over there. And now he's playing quietly. Picks Big up one in the bomb planter. And that's going to, he's going to get J-Cap. Oh my gosh. Hit markers. Not able to pick it up. And there you have it. Not enough time. So oh, Karma just has stay to stay alive. alive. Stay alive. Oh, Karma stays alive. The game's oh, over. And Karma does do that. Farico oh, takes oh, game number one here on Search and Destroy. He is the Lone Ranger, and he has four very talented Envy players seeking him out.
Now what's going to be important here is that he doesn't die to Rambo. Rambo's actually on a three straight. Oh. And no, it's gone! Just as I... Straight up to the left though. So nice play from him. He may actually be able to pick the player off. He is. He's come oh. right behind him. Nice, smart, intelligent play from Rambo. He's on a five streak. He's so, so close to his first score He's streak. so close here. As now five consecutive kills. Looking at the scoreboard. Rambo, seven and one. Seven and one, what? everyone. He is single-handedly carrying his team. If the rest of those players can step up and help... Sticking on board with Rambo. He's going to get out there. I think it's somebody just got some shots off. Going to swir swir oh, down there. Karma takes down. out Rambo, switching over to Stainville. Proofy picks up a two piece there. That's going to be huge for his team. And Stainville. A good engagement going down there on the left hand side. He knows there's going to be a few more free kill plays around here. Four versus three, 45 seconds left. He sees that. Pull that sniper out there, Rambo. Trying to get some MP7 oh. shots here. Bomb is down. Evie's got a defuse B. There's only two players up. It's Rambo and Stainville against Miracles, Killa, and Karma. Karma. They've got to defuse the bomb here against now. They're going to make it a 2v2 situation as Stainville takes out Killa. Now Rambo oh. almost picks up a huge kill there, but not able to get it. And now he picks oh. it up, takes out Karma. Just one left in Miracles. He's got to keep that bomb off. And now Rambo going for the defuse. Where is Miracles? Oh, oh Miracles! Goodness. Oh my oh god, the name! My goodness! Miracles! No, you did it! The clutch! We're going to see that in the round of the kill cam. No Stop. way! How? This is it. He's Get the, out of here. Throws the <laughs> sem, oh my goodness. Throws the Semtex on Switching the person. Numbers. A few seconds range. 27 seconds to be precise. Oh, 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 one versus four now to kill her. Can he try and produce the biggest clutch of his life? He's taken down one. Jumping around those corners, gonna get tagged up. Needs to challenge though. He doesn't have that long. May try and actually just suicide here. No way. Not kill him, man. He is way too aggressive. He wants it. Well, maybe now with 11 seconds left, he might. No, he's gonna challenge this. Not gonna do a suicide here. As the bomb tour he's gonna get one kill. Now he's just trying to rack up some kills here. As now he saw a player run away. If he can get that kill as well. No, no he doesn't. So not able to get another kill. And just jumps off. So he's not inside the ring. He's going to watch from the outside. I actually like this placement. It's not going to be expected by the MVT. He still has that Semtex available. If you remember the last round going big with the Semtex. Parasite has already taken down one. So it's a one versus two. Stainville, can he get any kills? Well, he's going to take no. that one. No way is he going to get the second Miracle oh. turn. Big, big play for Miracles. Managing to stay up just either taking out the Fariko squad, but has to get that bomb down if they're not going to do that. The problem is Envy don't have enough time to ever extend Just to the other bomb site, but it's going to be Karma left all by himself. If he can take down the bomb planet, which he has done with 23 seconds left, he can't afford to just run away. Try and force the play. One versus two, bomb being planted right now at B. Let's see what Karma is able to do here. Oh my gosh. Bomb oh, planet. Karma, oh. no. Rico back and forth. Now it's a 3v1 situation. 15 seconds left on the clock. Karma's got to get that bomb down. He gets taken out there. 10 seconds left on the clock. Stainville's got it too. It's oh one versus my one. Goodness. And now the bomb is going to go down. So Stainville's not close. Enough time to get Stainville. the bomb down here. And now the bomb down for Rico. Stainville has got to come up a hero here. And if he does that, this will be so massive for the MV squad. And now Killa and Stainville. Oh, oh my gosh. Him. Back and forth. They see each other. 1v1 back. Battle. This is so insane here. Smart Kill play. a smart play. He's gonna get out of the way of Stainville. Trying to oh, big play from Killa. Oh, my goodness. Big, big play He from pops Killa. out. He knows that Stainville was gonna engage him. Comes out. Nice play by Killa to take out Stainville. And it's tied 4-4. Four, four. This is the oh. craziest <laughs> series in the history of Call of Duty, man. Oh, this could well be the greatest <laughs> series of Call of Duty ever. It, it, it. For the defuse, they gotta find Rambo down. Oh. They find him. Plenty of time on the clock. Karma's got that actually smart play. Gonna give it to Parasite, because Parasite. Parasite's gonna get closer to his RC he's car. Gonna, he's gonna he actually, it. he's gonna get it here. He, is he gonna get it? Yep. He's got gonna it. get it. He have that choice. Do they go for the kill, or do they go for the RCXD? So he acts as oh, one of those really too difficult... Close, though, and die. Well, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, 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 is, that is obviously <laughs> an option that can happen, but it's a very, very smart play, and we see Fariko do it time and time again. For now, Jcap making his way towards his left-hand side bomb site. Fariko is one yep. round away from winning the championship. There you see Killa's car. That was not Parasite. So Parasite still has an RC car as well. We're going to jump on board with him. Smoke screens up. Bomb is going down. No, decides not to. But now he, he does second guess himself. He's going to put the bomb down here. Jcap takes out Karma. Bomb is down oh, for Fariko. He gets out of there, able to dodge it, and then gets taken oh, out. Down. Jumping on with Miracles. It's a 4v2 situation. Envy has to win this round in order to stay in it. Miracles One, picks, up, picks up two. Big Makes play. It two. Gets taken out.
out by Stainville, just Killa alive. It's a 1v1. Proofy versus Killa. The bomb is down for Fariko. Shots fired. Killa trying to desperately take out Proofy. Proofy has away. to go out and defuse it. Killa gonna draw him out. Shoot him. Oh, so close so to a weak. championship. It's all hanging on this one kill. 12 seconds left on the clock. He's done Proofy it. has to go back. Killa's gonna have to chase Proofy. Proofy has to go for the defuse here. He's done it. He's gonna get it. Killa's gonna get it. It does it. We have Fariko a world champion. Wins the championship. Fariko, your winner here. The Call of Duty Championship winner is Fariko. Wow. Alright, so this video got kind of long, but you know, it's entertaining Call of Duty, what can you do? Hope you guys really enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it, it helps a lot. Um, just great Call of Duty all around, and hopefully we have more of that next year. Thank you guys for watching, as always, peace.